This is a vegetable farm at the forefront of agricultural technology. The facility on Ogden Road southeast has been a mystery now for close to a year. The doors have now been briefly opened. Inside, eight production zones each house 800 rows of cucumbers. They grow from flower to mature vegetable in six days without soil. We are able to not only grow, but produce 365 days a year. We are able to do that because it is a result of our biophotic engineering technology. Biophotics is the study of light and how it affects plant growth and production. Roofing fabric filters daylight. Air is drawn into floor vents mixed with CO2 and recirculated back to the roots. Nutrients constantly feed the vegetables from an intricate network of tubes. The temperature and humidity of the zone remains constant. The area is sealed and germ-free. Pesticides are not needed. The vegetables begin their growth here in this electronically monitored pre-production area before removal to the outer zones. With this type of high-tech productivity, President Phil Sprung hopes to someday end world hunger. He says he's producing vegetables at a fraction of the regular cost, but he says regular farmers shouldn't fear competition. Whenever their crops come on, we grow something that they are incapable of growing. As we can grow any product in this complex, we only grow the things that the market demand requires and therefore we're not in a position to try and compete. We see no need for that. Eight million cucumbers a year are produced here. They're hand wrapped and shipped to food brokers at a rate of up to 22,000 a day. Quality is maintained by constant monitoring of nutrient and leaf composition. An atomic absorption unit is used for analysis. Beneath the facility, tanks of nutrient are monitored for mineral content before being piped to the vegetables. A distillation unit removes impurities from the water. Just about any type of vegetable can be grown here, and the whole production process is monitored by a central computer. We produce from this facility about 8 million cucumbers or tomatoes a year. It costs from $35 million and 10 years of research to produce this nirvana. There are three basic commodities of doing business at the basic levels. That's food, clothing, and shelter. We've been in the shelter for almost 100 years next year. We've been in the clothing business for about 70 years, so we decided we better get in the food business. Like a lot of high-tech business people, the Sprungs, Philip and his daughter Dawn, won't reveal the details of how their system works. They won't talk about a new crop of Japanese super tomatoes growing here, or the formula that feeds their plants. Strangers aren't welcome on this family farm. And it's been unfortunate that there's been some negative response, that we haven't opened up our doors to the public. But I can only say that, that um, we've spent many million dollars. Um, we're a private company and it's been private research. It's technology that we indeed must continue to protect. But this structure itself is no secret. It's the cornerstone of the sprung fortune. These fabric structures were once the shelter of the future. Inside, the sprungs are now building the farm of the future. We're told by the people who really know the business in the world that we're 25 years ahead of any known technology. Horticulturists have said and do say you can't grow in the wintertime, you do not have the light. You cannot also grow at the spacing, you don't have the light. Um, it, it's not done, it can't be done. And fair enough, it can't be done, not in the conventional greenhouse industry that's out there today. But it can be done and is being done now. And this prototype is proving that. So far it supplies 1% of Alberta's cucumber market. And just 200 of these tents would make Alberta import-free in plants and produce. The Sprungs believe the potential is limitless. We believe that it can be a major solution to the world food shortage, and it will take food to where it's needed. Other people are starting to believe that too. The Sprungs sold this operation to an Ontario company for $11 million last week, and a Montreal client has purchased one and is preparing to build as many as 50. The Sprungs could be starting the largest family farm in the world. Deborah Lambs, CBC News, Calgary.